Hi everyone! The GRE subject test in mathematics is super important if you want to be accepted into a grad program in math, statistics and such. You should not underestimate the difficulty of this exam, especially considering the scarcity in relevant preparation materials. The following video is the first lecture of a much needed online course focused specifically on the GRE math subject exam and how to master it. See links below for full details. Enjoy! Hello and welcome to the GRE subject math course. This course will cover all you need to know for the subject math test. Yes, I know all the materials includes all the courses of a typical undergrad math program, so we will have to go over it quite fast in order to start solving actual test problems. You probably know that it is not enough to just solve the problem, you have to do it fast. And that is exactly what I'm going to teach you. There are several modules for the course, starting with quick review of basic stuff through calculus of single and multivariable linear algebra, differential equations, and all the rest, which are set and group theory, topology, measure theory, probability, and much, much more. All the good stuff. The first modules will include all the materials you have to know in order to score around 80%, which is about 750 out of 900. However, to fully unlock your potential, you should take the advanced module as well. The final module is a full practice test. Of course, you will see a lot of questions as we go through the course. Pay attention, this is a prep course for the GRE subject exam in mathematics, not for the math section in the regular GRE, which includes writing and verbal nonsense sections. If you never heard about the mean value theorem, you are probably in the wrong place. However, if you are applying for a math grad program or statistics or such, you, you are exactly in the right place. See the FAQ for more info. Before we start, please make sure your major as an undergrad is or was math and you are confident in calculus and linear algebra at least. Otherwise, you should review those. Familiarize yourself with the test structure and read all the info from ETS if you haven't done so already. Now for the advanced checklist. Make sure you have good number two pencils and small enough eraser. You would need those in the test itself to fill the answer sheet that is going to be scanned. And it is a good practice to get used to work with the same pencil and eraser. By the way, don't count on the pencils that you will get from the staff of ETS during the test to be any good. Those pencils will break and you will lose time and focus. Also, get used to work on blank sheets of paper as it will be in the actual exam. No ruled or graph ruled. Make sure to know how to time yourself by an analog clock. And of course, I hope you have a lot of motivation. The test will have 66 questions in 170 minutes. That's approximately two and a half minutes per question. Very little time. That is why you have to practice. You are a math major, so most of the questions are easy if you have the time. You have to learn tricks in order to work fast enough. The questions are multiple choice. You would have to fight the urge to prove to yourself everything and start to rely on the intuition that we will together develop uh, through the course. Notice the penalty for wrong answers, so guess with caution. The scores are normalized to a curve. For example, it is possible to get a perfect 900 out of 900 with 63 correct answers and 3 mistakes. Finally, all questions weigh the same, so skip the ones you struggle with. Ok, enough talking, let's start the real deal. That was the first lecture, see details below about the entire course. Feel free to comment and good luck in the exam.